What in rule B third graders learn has taught the distributive property of multiplication um, as a strategy uh, to help them multiply numbers? Um, it's a rule that states that you can expand a factor into addition, in an addition sentence, and then you can multiply each of those addends by the other factor. And so we started off with some smaller multiplication problems or with some smaller numbers to help kids build their understanding. So if they look at the larger factor, they can't break up either factor, but most times the larger factor works best. So if they have 18, um, they can create addition sentences. They know from expanded form that 10 plus 8 equals 8, 18. Uh, 9 plus 9 equals 18. Or they can even break it up into 3 add-ins of 10 plus 4 plus 4. All right, they learned that 2 is 5 and 10 and 11 are great because they can skip count quickly with those factors when they multiply. So if you have 10 plus 8, if you use that, um, 10 plus 8 is the 18. And they need to multiply each of the add-ins by the 4 because it's still 18 times 4. So 4 times 10 plus the 8 times 4. 4 times 10 is 40 plus 8 times 4, which is 32. And then they have 40 plus 32, which is 72. So your product is 72. Another example um, would be if you had 6 times 14. Um, 6 times 14, we can look at the uh, 14, and if you expanded that with an addition sentence, you have 10 plus 4, 7 plus 7. You can even break the 10 up into 5, so have 5 plus 5 plus 4, um, because multiplying by 5 is a lot easier and quicker. Um, let's skip counting, and same thing with 10. So if we can try uh, three factors, three add-ins that we can use to represent the 14, um, and if we have six times, and that would be five plus five plus four, five plus five plus four is 14, but then I have to remember to distribute. I need to distribute the six and multiply the six. So if I have six times five, plus another six times five, plus another, or six times four. Six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. And six times five is 30. I can combine 30 and 30, which is 60. Then I'm going to combine the 60 with the 24. 60 plus 24 is 84. So my product is 84. All right, so another example. If I had 133 times 3, I can expand that to 100 plus 30 um, plus 3. I can uh, break it up into 100 plus 10, plus 20, plus 3, or 100, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 3. All right, I can start with this first one right here. If I have um, 100, all right, I'm going to multiply first 100 times 3. Um, then I need to multiply the 30 times 3. And then I need to multiply 3 times 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. 30 times 3 is 6. Uh, 30 and 30 is 60. And another 30 equals 90. And then 100 times 3 is 300. And then if I put this together, the kids know expanded form. 133 times 3 is 399. 